You know, people describe you as a legend. What do you think of that word? It's a good word. It's just how long you live. It's not just how long you live. You've won eight Emmy Awards. Nine. She may balk at being called a legend. Look what we have come to. But with Cloris Leachman, it's hard to think of a better word. Your rooms have been prepared. In nearly 70 years on stage and on screen, she's truly done it all. The fire, then we'll do Kissinger, then the bus strike and the armed robbery. How lucky you are. Insulated from reality here in the fantasy world of television. Two of those nine Emmys were for her role as Mary Tyler Moore's annoyingly perfect landlord, Phyllis Lindstrom. For when I toss my head back in that way I have. It was easy for her to make us laugh, and it seems just as easy to break our hearts. What am I doing apologizing to you? Why am I always apologizing to you, you little bastard? For this scene in 1971's The Last Picture Show, director Peter Bogdanovich allowed her just one take. I just did it once, and I, I had just learned my lines on the way over there. Just on the way over there? On the way over there. And I did it, and then he said cut, and it was over. And I said, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I need to do that again. He said, no, I could do the first part better. I could. You, you think you could? I know I could. Still, it was good enough for an Oscar. Are you comfortable? Yes, yes, this is fine. Back then, she was also raising five children and would try to cook dinner for them nearly every night. Dinah England is her youngest. I remember when I was a kid, there would be five of us, and then everybody would come home at different times, and she would literally make five different gourmet vegetarian meals, just one after the other. Never stop. Who does that? Who does that and has a right. side job that wins yeah. you multiple awards going on? I mean, yeah. I mean, we'd yeah. eat at 10 or 11 at night, but we would definitely have a good meal. <laughs> you have to put lemon and red wine vinegar also. And here's something that's often on the menu at the Leachman house, cabbage salad with a family secret dressing. Well, I don't even know what the ingredients are. I just put stuff in, sometimes I hit it, and sometimes I miss it. But the idea really is the taste of cold cabbage and then these ingredients. That's what changes. And you just have to hit it lucky. Hopefully we'll be lucky. Her dressing is an ad lib concoction of garlic, vinegar, mustard, and some really pricey cheese. But it all works. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Right? That's so much more than what I thought it was going to be. And just the thing for someone who's been a vegetarian for most of her adult life. Do you miss bacon? I don't miss meat at all. I couldn't eat meat now if you, if you gave me a million dollars. No. I couldn't put it in my mouth. Just over the years, I haven't done it, and now I can't. That's odd. Very odd. It's very odd. <laughs> Would the doctor care for a brandy before retiring? Cloris Leachman no. may not be famous for her cabbage salad, but she is famous for this, one of the best known running gags in movie history. I am Frau Blucher. Leachman lives near a horse farm in the hills above LA, and it seems like the neighbors were in on the joke. I'm sorry for laughing. Come on, it's a horse neighing. <laughs> what was the meaning of the horse in Young Frankenstein? I asked Mel a few years ago, and he said, um, Blucher means glue. Director Mel Brooks may have been kidding about the words, but even now it's still just as funny. Inga, may I present Frau Blucher? <laughs> What's 34 times 12? 408. At 89, she's still a fixture on the big screen. My dog. With more movies due out next year. But no matter what the part, Cloris Leachman knows just how to serve it up. Next few months, I'll be 90. How does that feel? It's hilarious. I can't even count that high. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still fun? 